Hello Minecrafters and welcome to another episode about Minecraft. Today I'm going to be showing you, well, I put it in a small house on my friend's server already, but um, that one wasn't terribly interesting, so I thought I'd make an even better one for my actual assassin guild in my assassin world. Um, uh, as a small detail, you'll notice that I kind of replaced the floor a little bit. I made a couple of other improvements here. I could make a video of, of that. I could make a video of, but I don't think you'd be all that interested. So instead, I'll just show you the emergency exit system. Now, we have a guy who holds the, you know, in case the guild gets attacked by Templars or anybody, you have one guy who just stands here and lets everybody through. And then, let's hope I can make this. If not, I'll just tunnel my way in. Yay. Then, yes, he, uh, everybody but him goes through. And the last guy of the escaping ones hits this switch. And you could hear, no, I actually couldn't hear the pistons because I switched the input thing. Um, but I rigged it so that you can also open it from here, from this, pis from this, uh, pressure plate. So then the last guy is able to come in and yeah, we'll all be good. So now onto the traps. Here we have a lever that if I were to hit it above me, there's lava. So, yes, before it, you know, drowns everything, better close it up. Um, I have soul sand here, so it makes it even harder for them to move while being drowned by the lava. Um, so, it'll be even harder for them to reach the switch before they die. So, that's cool. <clears throat> this one I'm not going to do because it rains shit ton of gravel on your head and uh, they have to dig through all that. It's meant to really slow them down, put a gap between the assassins and the Templars if they ever get into a chase through here. Um, this, ah, I know what this is, I didn't leave it in the assassin spot, but um, normally this wall right here, which I'll show you in a minute, will be retracted back, leaving a little corridor for people to escape this booby trap. Um, well, let me just show you that. I hit the switch. The wall goes back, and the assassins who are escaping can just kind of sidle along here, avoid the switch, and then they'll be perfectly fine. The Templars, however, they leave that wall extended so that they can hit the, you know, pressure plate and just kind of be fried. Yay. Alright, this one. Let's see. I don't even remember. Oh, dear. Oh, yes. This is to... If they are still behind the gravel, they can switch this back, and then they'll be like, What? Where'd they go? There's only st solid stone here. I don't understand. So, in the time that it takes them to figure out they have to mine through it to get it, press on, then, uh, yes, the assassins can get even more away. Now, this is a sort of secondary security system type thing. Um, for the week, we'll probably have an elected officer just kind of... I'll just make my way through here, because since cobwebs are a pain in the ass... Um, we'll have like an ele some guy like take a duty for the week or a couple days or something to you know um, man the station what it is is you have cobwebs pistons on the sides and lava down there and um, when there's a break when there's uh, assassins escaping the guy here asks them for their password in case they're Templars in disguise and you know if they're real assassins. He extends the pistons to make a floor and they don't fall into the lava. Otherwise, oh, and obviously this opens the door. And uh, if they don't get the password wrong and they actually are Templars in disguise, they just fall to their deaths and everybody laughs. LOL. Alright, moving along. I have a small staircase thing here, which leads to another more time-consuming and possibly a uh, confusing thing to get the Templars off track, you know, to uh, keep them from following, and they might want to mine straight forward, but it's probably not the best idea. I don't know. Pretty cool. Um, around the corner, we have something really interesting, in my opinion. Now, you see, this lever won't be here when the Assassins go through. Hopefully, they'll have put enough of a gap between them and the Templars that um, they can go through and remove this lever. But, um, what you what they will original what the Templars will originally see is they'll be like here and they'll see forks off into two passageways. Now, they'll probably send one group this way and another group that way. Now what happens is they go down here and hopefully if they're stupid enough that they don't actually see this here, they step on this, 
opening an entire lava pit behind them and probably drowning 99% of their crew. Same sort of thing on the other side. Should note that the glow is supposed to give them hope, thinking like, yes, this is the right way. It's brilliant. I don't know. And yes, either side, they drown each other. Now, oh, looks like one's not working. I'll have to troubleshoot that. Anyway, um, the two guys who are probably left here on the corners, they'll probably try to run to each other or something and just, you know, figure something out. But then, boop, boop. So most likely, they're all dead, or they will have no choice except to kill themselves because there's no escape. Now, what they didn't know is that if they had stuck a lever here, because it will have been torn off when these assassins go through, is that they hit this lever and a secret door into a third passageway. Now, this is my own design. Um, the last man, you know, running through will put a pressure plate down here to start the mechanism and then probably take off the uh, sign. Um, see, what it does is it activates my really noisy and annoying contraption. I did this too so I could avoid the switch, but I'll show you guys um, for my uh, slightly glitchy Uh oh, what's going on? Now it's. Well, if you can see, the doors, I mean, this wall should have been, you know, uh, completely retracted, and then you would see these uh, dispensers hopefully firing arrows, but they don't seem to be doing that, so I have to fix that. Um, I did kind of have a mishap in here earlier, that's probably why this didn't go down, but whatever. And then later, after the escape, um, after rebuilding and all that and fighting off the Templars, we can all, you know, come in here and deactivate this. Fill it up with arrows again. Now, I figured, you know, they'll probably all be dead by then, so um, I'll just keep on going down the tunnel, which is a really, really, really long tunnel. And what it leads to is this fork in the road. Um, if they haven't discovered the armory yet, um, through maybe text chat or whatever you could tell each other, um, then you can use this secret door to get out to the armory, which is, you know, if you remember, it's in the uh, mercenary guild. If it has been taken by them, you can just uh, escape out the escape passage, which is also bloody long, so I'll uh, just fly through it. Here at the end of the escape tunnel, have a lever that opens up an escape hatch. I'll fly up. Now, I didn't build what I was going to build here first. I guess that I figured that you would have your own blocks here already, but um, the ladder doesn't go all the way to the top because, you know, pistons will shove the ladder out of the way. Uh, so you'll have to, um, You'd have to, if you were in survival mode, you'd have to place blocks to get out and destroy the blocks. But if you're in creative mode like me, you just fly, bleh, fly right out, and here you are in the middle of nowhere. Just as it should be, because that's the last place that the Templars will probably look. If you're in survival, though, I'll probably provide a dispenser here with a few blocks that you can use to escape yourself if you're, you know, not in, uh, not able to fly. So, yes, um, this is my emergency escape thing with booby traps and all sorts of awesomeness. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, whatever. Goodbye.